we were talking before about though, like how how being comfortable in a band is such a big thing, and it is a strange thing to me of like, yeah, I'm only as good as I am comfortable. And mm-hmm. when you're with a band that you're like trying to impress, when you're in a that venue that you're trying to, yeah, when you're trying to make something good, nothing good happens. And it's this, it's always shocking to me how how much better uh, how much better a band can get out of me if they just make me feel good, mm-hmm. right? And I think it probably goes the same way, right? When I'm filming a music video. Uh, one of the biggest things I'm thinking about is, yeah, are they comfortable? Like, how do I make their day as easy as possible so that they can succeed as much as possible? And it's always this weird, like, gray area, right? Like, you would think, I have all the faith in you, a photographer, and it would never dawn on me to think of the, how you feel about the person you're taking pictures of affects the photo that you're taking. But it is a really important piece here. I feel like how, your connection with the band gives you good stage chemistry. Yeah. Because, like, when you're on point and the band's on point and, like, you guys are just vibing. You're like making yeah. jokes. It's a good time. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Hard to go right though. Sometimes I think and there's a lot of like creative. I don't know. We all are. We all are hard headed, right? I think you get into this world because we're stubborn in some capacity, and we think we can do better, right? I think. Uh, I think part of why I ended up getting into cameras originally is because I have all these posters on my wall as a kid, and somewhere in my brain I go, "Oh, I could do that. That's not even that hard." And of course, it is. I don't think I've taken a single photo that would be in these alt press magazine <laughs> posters that were on my wall back in the day. But like, yeah, there is that like ego that's so important to all of us that we also have to learn to to swallow and be a part of the team sometimes. Oh yeah, no, I I get very much like as much as I feel like I'm a good photographer. Every time I take photos, I'll sit there and anyone who's around me, I'll be like, does this look good? Like <laughs> Immediately, I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, no, it's great. And I'm like, gaslighter. <laughs> it's How fine. do you cope with that? Especially like on tour when you're shooting every night. Like I, anytime you're doing anything that often, like you're going to have an off day and there an off week in there. Like when you're when you're on a tour, you're on a four week tour and in the middle of week two, your brain is telling you like, yeah, I think you suck at this. And it's like. The evidence is that you don't suck at this, but when our brain tells us that, sometimes it's hard to hard to ignore it. Like, what are you doing on those moments to, like, yeah, remind yourself that you are a boss-ass bitch and that you are good at what you do? So I'll – when I feel like I, I'm stagnant and I'm not enjoying what I'm getting, um, I have, I don't know, like, probably five billion presets, right? Yeah. But I have – Shout I got, out Red God. <laughs> I have like a system now where everything I've made within like the past year or so starts with the letter A because I'm too lazy to like scroll that's all the way crazy. down. That's <laughs> so like literally crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like it makes sense. That's how you should organize files, but like that's crazy. <laughs> so I like will take all the presets that I had used within the last couple of weeks and like put like take the A out and let them be, you know, wherever they go. Okay. And then I try to shoot in different angles that I wouldn't mm-hmm. normally shoot in. Yep. And then eventually it either works and makes me feel great or I'm like, okay, this is actually worse. Like you were doing so much better. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also have like a, a really good dynamic with the bands that I work with where um, if they feel like I'm getting too much of something or too little of something or I'm missing something, we have a good relationship where it's like, I'm here to provide you what you want. So yep. I, they feel comfortable coming to me and being like, hey, like on this song, do you think you could get a picture from like this area? And that works out really great. And I feel like being open to criticism from the band, like they know when they're going to be hyped. They know mm-hmm. what part they're going to do. And I, I I feel like I get to that point, but it's not going to happen on the first week. Yep. So and getting also a weird thing like it's our art but it's their image yeah and it's always this weird balance i was having a conversation with someone the other day and they did a music video with someone and they asked for revisions and the person was like no this is the final product and it, it was this weird thing to me of like you're misunderstanding the whole thing that we're yeah. doing here like i'm not making a music video and peter's not the first name on this like it's not the name that anyone's gonna watch it because of right like everyone's gonna watch it because of the artist's name and if they enjoy it enough that they remember my name as a result of it great but like you're you're delusional if you think that like this is about you, if this is about making the thing for you. Uh, are you good at taking revisions? Like I, sometimes I feel like I am stubborn, and I think I've gotten a lot better at accepting it and accepting that like I don't always know everything, right? Like sometimes I, uh, there's a music that I talked about here uh, with Chain Twist a while ago, uh, and I sent a first draft, and I loved it, and I still kind of stand by it, but it's also like it was over the top. It was crazy. Like they asked for like I don't know exactly what the dilemma was but they asked for like one effect and i just took it to the next level and i was like this is the better way to do it and then when they got it they were like 
uh, no, like mm-hmm. it needs to be a more modest, like it, this is overpowering. It doesn't fit the thing. Okay. And it was one of those to me of like, ah, I like draft one, but I get that it's not my draft one that we're making it right. So I'm making the best thing for chain twist. And as a result, yeah, let's make that happen. And to be fair, I feel almost bad sharing that because it's like, I don't want to share too much inside baseball, but I talked about it with them on the podcast. So it feels all like public yeah. record uh, as I spit everywhere. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> Cause you just like slowly back up more and more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, are you good at like taking feedback revisions? Like, is that something you struggled with in the past? Are you better at it now? Like what's that, what's that process like for you? I will say in the past, um, I did struggle with revision. I feel like also at that time I was shooting like local bands and venues that had yeah. one light bulb yep. <laughs> and like I would do that. And then the next day I would shoot August burns red and like the local bands, I, I definitely made a post about it. Like if I have an idea and it came to my mind and something happened, I want an opinion. I want to hear about it. But like you can't expect August Burns Red quality images in a venue that has Mm -hmm. two light bulbs and a strobe. Like there's got to be some realism there. Yes. Um, But I always have tried my best to deliver like the best quality that I can with whatever circumstance. And when I do get feedback, like I've – I've Someone I work really well with with uh, revision and feedback is Tyler uh, from Born Anew, Sax. Shout, Shout out. out. Got to have him on here sometime. Sax, if you're <laughs> listening, I'm coming for you, boy. I'm interested in having you on here. Um, um, but, yeah, I've worked with him on a lot of, like, promos mainly. And even when we were – they, I did a full-length tour with them. Mm-hmm. One of my – well, my first full-length tour. And – they the entire time like we had great communication he was like i like what you're doing it was mainly like can i have it blue but (laughs) but no we worked really really well together and having that dynamic um even meredith from victims like her and i will sit there and she'll be like okay so this is what i'm gonna do for this part this is what i need you here for and then after that like freestyle do what you're gonna do Mm -hmm. um and she'll tell me like hey yeah like you know, I needed you here at that spot. And I'll be like, okay. Like, it's not like she's saying it like you weren't here. It's more like make sure that you're catching that high energy, you know? To some degree, that's your boss. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're an employee of the band on some level. And if they have an idea and they know, like, something that's going to look sick, and it's never not looked sick when you take their advice. Um, Yep. I say that all the time. that Like, I think bands are far more knowledgeable in photos than they realize. And band members always come to me that it's like, I want to get into photography. Like, what should I know? And mm-hmm. my answer is always like, you you have to learn. You're right. Like, there's cameras have to learn. But like, I think band people are generally like way ahead of someone started from scratch because they've had so many photos taken of them that they're so familiar with what yeah. people would like because of what yeah because their own opinions and they've received so many that it's so much easier for them to then see a photo in real time and be like, oh, this is what the frame should be. Uh, and yeah, I think you're right that it's like they're the experts in their art. Like, I can't tell half-hearted what they should look like. Yeah. Like, like, right, they've been working on this song for six months. So when they come to me and say, here's like an idea, it'd be crazy for me to be like, nah, what about, <laughs> right? Like, it's, it's like, you're the experts here. Like what, where I can succeed the most is in ingesting what they have and then going, okay, I like this baseline. What it needs a little bit of this, or it's lacking a little bit here. And I think that's where I can succeed the most. But yeah, it's a strange thing when going back to that earlier conversation of like, when someone sends a music video and it's like, that's the final one fuck you if you want revisions. And it's like, no, like you don't, you're missing the point entirely. <laughs> yeah. uh, if nothing else, it's about like, it's a people industry, right? Like no one's going to hire you again if you're hard to work with. And I'm not that you want to be walked over. You don't want to be pushed over. Like you don't want to be, you don't want to be uh, a full servant of their needs. Yeah. But no. also it's like, be easy to work with, be flexible. And when someone says, Hey, can you do this? Just say yes and make it happen. And like, there's a time and a place to say no, but like, I feel like 95% of the time the answer is yes, whether yeah. I agree or not. And I'll figure out whether I agree or not later, but like, I'm going to do everything in my power to be accommodating and I'll figure out how I can exist inside of that world from there. And it's not my job to, yeah, overhaul what you're doing or in the context of born and new in the blue. It's like, yeah, we've seen that their new album rollout is blue. So my assumptions at the time, it's in somewhere in the back of Tyler's head going like, this is the next step. I don't want to be putting out red images because I know that's not where we're going. And we don't know that you might not know that like the public, no one yeah. really knows that, but they know that. And to ignore that and to try and strong arm that is like, yeah, maybe the photo would look better if it was warmer, but like warm isn't, isn't, isn't part of the plan right now. It's not part of the roadmap. <laughs>